Okay, crime is spiking double digits in U.S. cities, and now pepper spray sales surging along with gun sales as people race to protect themselves and their families. Grady Trimble, live from Fenton, Missouri, it's home of the largest U.S. manufacturer of pepper spray. Grady. Hey, Liz. Yeah, Sabre has about 70% of the U.S. market of pepper spray. David Nance is the CEO. So you provide to police departments across the country, NYPD, Chicago Police. But you're also a big seller to consumers. You're in Dick's Sporting Goods, all sorts of stores. But in the past couple years in particular, you've seen scale sales just soar. Significant increase, 30% year over year the last two years. Why do you think that is? Well, people, they feel uncertainty and they want certainty. They want reliability. They want products that are used by police to help protect themselves and their families so they can have peace of mind when they're out and about running, commuting, going to work, doing the things they have to do to live. And I know not everyone's comfortable with a gun. Gun sales are up too, by the way. But this is sort of an alternative to protect yourself without having to use lethal force. Well, pepper spray allows you to protect yourself at a safe distance. Why go hands on with the attacker when they can be faster, stronger, and more skilled than you? And Liz, I've also learned a lot about these home defense products that they have. This is a basically larger form of pepper spray. It's this actually a pepper gel. Pepper gel. So it doesn't atomize, doesn't affect you. There's no blowback. It only affects what it directly contacts. So you don't have to worry about getting on yourself or your family. And you've also ha you have this projectile launcher, all sorts of products. This one's glow in the glow dark in the because dark. a lot of crime happens at night. So, you know, it's unfortunate, Liz, that sales are up because people feel so unsafe, but at least they're finding ways to protect themselves. Yeah, Grady, what a great story. It looks like you could put it on your keychain too. Grady Trimble, great journalism there. It's good to see you.